the latest health news for you and your family. This is Maureen's Medical Moment. A medical procedure is providing relief to younger patients suffering from knee pain. That's in today's Medical Moment. More than one-third of Americans reported being affected by knee pain. Knee replacement surgery can offer relief, but the implants only last between 12 and 15 years. Patients under the age of 40 aren't usually considered good candidates for the procedure because they would need too many revision operations. Now a simple surgery is saving knees in younger patients. Wonderful. <laughs> Today, nurse Kirsten Kent can walk, climb, and lift without a problem. But a year ago, severe knee pain prevented her from doing her job. I would go and sit in my office, and I wouldn't get up much. I kept telling people I'm not lazy. I just am in too much pain to get up and move. An injury that happened when she was a teen caused a lot of cartilage in her 30s. It was um, just that deep bone pain, like grinding, kind of bone on bone. She tried drugs, therapy, injections, and even had her knee realigned. Doctors told her a knee replacement could offer lasting relief, but she was too young. Honestly, part of me was like, well, then why don't we just amputate above my knee? Then Rush University surgeon Brian Cole told her about an option called an osteochondral allograft transplant. It involves transplanting cartilage and bone from a deceased donor. The same donor who has heart, liver, lung donation at the time of death also donates parts such as cartilage. Surgeons make a small incision in the knee and remove the patient's damaged cartilage and bone, then replace it with the new donor tissue. It's almost like if you were missing a tile in your shower or tub, you replace that tile with a, a healthier or new piece of tile. Kirsten had to wait several months for a donor, but today she's pain free. It's a miracle I don't have any pain anymore, I and mean, I never thought that I would see this day. Patients don't have to take anti-rejection drugs because the body doesn't see the transplanted cartilage as foreign. Kirsten's allograft procedure is expected to last at least 10 years, and the closer she gets to 50, the better her chances of being considered a good candidate for a knee replacement surgery. This procedure is only for patients with certain types of knee arthritis that's relatively well localized to a specific area of the knee. And to read the research summary for today's story, you can go to WNDU.com and click on the Medical Moment. Terry?